Yeah, the Cliff Lash Trio. You're probably saying to yourself, Self, why has he walked over to the piano? Is he going to sing? No, it's time to dust. Could you guys mind visit? it? I want to introduce to you the Cliff Lash Trio, ladies and gentlemen. Gene Wilson on bass guitar. <laughs> on the drums, Don Gauck. And the maestro himself at the Ivories, ladies and gentlemen, Cliff Lash. Cliff, I'm so excited to have you here. Well, you know, you can't believe how much fun it is to do this again. I mean, I think I was born to be a band leader on a talk show. Yeah, I all right. It. Well, that's why, that's why we have you here. That's why we have you here. Let's talk about your wonderful musical heritage. You played with such greats as Glenn Miller, Charlie Spivak. Yeah, and Barney Rapp. Barney Rapp, sure. At the sign of the drum. Yeah. And you started at the uh, Vienna Room in the Carew Tower? Old Vienna. Old Vienna. Yeah, I came to town. In, in the basement of the Carew yeah, Tower. Yeah, a nice restaurant. You could get a steak, a baked potato, and a salad for 90 cents. What time they open up, Cliff? <laughs> no, that, that was back in 34. Ah, gee. All right. Then uh, you, you spent some time in the military during well, that conflagration. Well, the, uh, the uh, strange thing is that I, my first radio job was at KRC. With Ruth Lyons. And with Ruth in 41. And then in 42, she drove me over to Fort Thomas to enlist, and I was gone for four years. I didn't know Ruth was a recruiter. I'll be darned. That's, that's something. She did everything, believe yeah. me. What we're, we're going to share with you now, uh, and, and then you uh, played for Ruth Lyons' 50-50 Club and then the Bob Braun Show. We want to share a very special moment from the 50-50 Club with you right now uh, in a tribute to Ruth Lyons. Let's look at this together. It really has. What did you have there, Bobby? I was kind of anxious is to a, see what that is. This is a plaque that John Slocum was vice president oh, and general WLWI. manager. Right, mm -hmm. Channel 13. And he had this prepared for you. The 50-50 Club came on the air in 1946, isn't that correct? That's Ron? right. And uh, it's 20 years old this year. We mm -hmm, observed your mm -hmm. 20th anniversary. I think it was back in February, wasn't mm -hmm. it? 18th of February. And uh, he, uh, of course, didn't send us over then, but he has 50 cent pieces, and each is in the date for every year you've been on, starting with 1946 and up until 1966. Isn't that and darling? It's all put together on isn't that darling? That's a great idea. What's it say on the plaque? It plan? says Ruth Lyons, 1946, 50 50 Club, 1960. Many have been made happier because you were concerned. Presented with great affection from WLWI Isn't Channel. Isn't that lovely? I just adore that. Oh, that's beautiful. How exciting. And uh, our way of saying thank you so very much to Ruth and the impact she has had upon television here in Cincinnati and uh, you all as well. We are so excited to have you here. Bob, you worked equally hard after you became the host of the show and then the Bob Braun Show with the Ruth Lyons Children's Christmas Fund. Well, that was something that uh, was a direct result from uh, experience at the Children's Hospital in Cincinnati. One of our children uh, had congenital glaucoma and it appeared that uh, he would go blind and had three operations there and saved his sight. And while Ray Jean and I spent many hours at the hospital over the first six years of his life, rocking him in the rocking chair provided by the Christmas Fund and watching the television set provided by the Christmas Fund. I got a dedication to it that uh, exists even today, even though I'm not allowed to be a part of it anymore. But uh, during the 17 years that we had the fund, our audience contributed six and a half million dollars. Wow. And I want to tell the people of uh, the tri-state area how grateful I am for, for doing that and keeping it alive and uh, it makes it possible for it to exist today because of their generosity. Yeah. People like, uh, good friends like Bud Boskin, to whom I talked this morning, contributed thousands of dollars over the years to that, and individuals a dollar at a time here. But over 17 years, we raised six and a half million dollars thanks to their generosity. You raised it, we didn't. Yeah. We were just there to tell you about it, and you responded, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And, and uh, all the hospitals were in it that we could possibly get in it, but Children's Hospital particularly, they really, that's the most famous hospital in America, in case you don't know it, the Children's Hospital Medical Center. Are they wonderful? They get 45 states represented there from people, kids there. And one of the things that they do that I think is tremendous now is the Ricky King Fund up there. Sure. That, uh, I got to tell wait, I'm going to interrupt here. You're talking, but I've got to tell you this. Bob came back on a whirlwind tour to be on our program this week, of course. And uh, on Friday, he chatted with Rich King. And Rich at that time said, Bob, we're having the run at Old Coney. Why don't you come on out? And Bob said, sure, I'll be there. And in the rain and in the cold and in all the mess that was Saturday morning, 
Bob Braun was there encouraging the runners and participating in the awards ceremony. Uh, you are now and always will be a part of the Ruth Lyons Children's well, thank Christmas you. Fund, Bob. And for you to have shown up at the Ricky King run was just absolutely wonderful. Well, we had a great time, but uh, I may not get another chance this year. So let me take this opportunity to ask you to help with the Ruth Lyons Christmas Fund this year as you have in the past. It's very important that it remain alive, particularly until they can get that giant contribution uh, kicked in to perpetuate the fund. Sure. So we hope that uh, you will keep it alive this year. And uh, it means as much to me today as it did when I was actively participating. So may I take this opportunity to ask you to send in your contribution. And uh, if you enjoyed our show over the years, send it in, uh, in honor of, uh, of that program. Thank Amen. You. We're going to take a break. We'll have more special guests when we come back.